you okay early? I'm like a minute early. Have you got the groceries? How's the new sketches coming along? Yeah, they're um, <coughs> they're getting there. Um, can you just um, can you just not rush it for me, please? Look, Michael, if you're not busy, we could go out and grab some lunch. Hey, Pete, you can just um, you can just leave the groceries on the porch. Thank you. Seriously, what's your problem? I know you're in there. I know you can hear me. Can you just um? Can we just not today, Pete? All right? Can we just um? Can we just try tomorrow? Come on, buddy. What do you even want from me? I want to be your friend. I thought you'd know that. I want to help you. Go on, buddy. Grab a bacon and egg. Yeah, no worries. Thank yeah. you. <coughs> Can I please have a um, bowl of cocoa pops? I'm really sorry, but we don't actually have cocoa pops here. He'll just have what I'm having. Okay, no Thanks. worries. Thank you. Thanks. Why don't you go outside anymore? Uh, I don't go out because I was hearing on the news that there was a man who was a journalist who went overseas and he got killed because he was a journalist and then I heard the other day um, on the news that there was another man who was just sitting down and there were people that came up and hurt him just because he was sitting down and I don't I don't, I don't want to be in a world where there's people that are kind of outside always just the real world. What? Here you go guys, the two bacon and eggs. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks. We um we need to leave. Michael, what's wrong? Look, that place is obscene, alright? It's dirty. I don't even know who's in the kitchen. It could be filthy. There are people I don't know who are cooking my dishes. All I wanted was some cocoa pops and I just wanted to put it in a bowl and I don't even have cocoa pops. Can we please can we please just take me home? Okay, okay, look. I'm sorry. Look, I'll go inside, I'll pay for our meals. Just stay here, okay? Uh. Michael, I'm sorry about what happened at the cafe, but you can't give up that easily. Can you please just go away, Peter? I don't want to have anything to do with you. Michael, just come outside. Can you please just go away? Look, 
I promise it'll be safe. You promise? Cross my heart. Alright, just um just just give me a minute. Well, no, 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 you, no, 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 you said that I was going to be safe. You promised that I was going to be safe. Well, I'm not Michael, getting in that. I've been driving for six years. No, did you know that <laughs> 1,193 people died on Australian roads? I don't want to be another statistic. Look, come on, just get in. Oh. I used to be such a fan of what you did. You know, your hard work influenced me over the years, and since you've cooped yourself up inside, and you've had that negative review, you've changed. Look, you can't expect me to do everything for you and keep doing everything for you. Just take some responsibility for Peter, yourself, can you okay? please just stop telling me how to live my life? I was perfectly happy before you came along and just started forcing me to get outside! I don't mean to upset you. I just don't want you to be cooped up inside all the time. Thank you, Peter. Hey Mike, listen. I, um... Someone gave me this book once and it changed everything for me. I was thinking perhaps you should have it. Oh. Holy dooly. No one's ever given me a gift before. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, have a good night. Yeah. Hey, good night, Peter. My dearest friend Peter, thank you for believing in me and giving me the courage to explore the world. As you said, 
Life's too short to be cooped up inside of your apartment. I look forward to seeing you when I return. Your grateful friend, Michael Lawson.